my name is Suresh. I'm having uh, 10 years of IT experience. I'm going to be your instructor for data stage. And the tool which we are going to discuss here is InfoSphere Data Stay and Quality Stage 9.1. Tool whatever we are going to discuss here is 9.1. The tool which we are going to discuss in our sessions is IBM InfoSphere Data Stay and Quality Stage 9.1. The complete uh, class will go on 9.1 only. Okay, from the last few batches we are discussing 9.1. But we don't have a 11.3 software, so we are not able to continue that 11.3 because the current version of data stay which we have in the market is 9.1, 11.3. These two versions generally you can see in most of our clients. Right, now let's go to the tool which I'm going to cover here. Right, first I'm going to start with the fundamentals of data warehouse. If you are already aware of these data warehouse basics, for example, you are already working on some technology like Informatica or data stay, maybe old versions or any other ETL tool, we can skip these fundamentals part. But if you are new to this data warehouse, we should also discuss about him. What is a data warehouse? What is the purpose of data warehouse? Why we need a data warehouse? What is the operational data store we are having? OLTP versus data warehouse uh, applications and data mods versus data warehouse and data warehouse life cycle. All these fundamental topics we are going to discuss. When I am covering about these all the fundamentals, I'll also sorry, I'll also use a PPTs, classroom PPTs, which I am going to use. And everything whatever I am presenting as part of our training, every material will be shared. Okay. First, we'll be starting with the what is an operational system? What is the purpose of operational system? What is the characteristics of operational system? Why we need operational system? And what is the meaning of data warehouse, right? Who, I mean, gave a definition for data warehouse? What is the meaning of uh, data warehousing implementation approaches? How many data warehousing implementation approaches are there, right? And then we are also going to have a concept called data warehousing architecture and then we'll go for data modeling all. See, to discuss these all the fundamentals, I'll be going for two to three classes. Okay, three hours, four hours, we'll discuss these fundamentals first. When I'm talking about these fundamentals also, I'll also be op opening a project related architecture. I'll compare these, di these diagrams and these uh, definitions with the project related architectures also. How data virus is going to build what architecture team is going to do, what modeling team is going to do, do all things. Once basic spot completed for the data warehouse, then as part of our schedule, we'll go for the modeling part. See, if you are applying for a position of data stage developer or a senior developer or a data stage administrator or something, you don't need to have a knowledge and modeling part. But we have a separate team is there for doing up modeling that team we are going to call as data modeling team. That data modeling team will use a modeling tool called Erwin and uh, that data modeling tool Erwin they will use to implement the modeling concepts in data warehouse and we are also going to discuss about the what is a normalization process, how to implement normalization process, what is dimension table, what is fact table, how we will be loading the data into dimension table and fact table. In those two types of tables in data warehouse, which table first we should load? Because dimension tables we are going to call as a primary key tables. We are called a primary key table. So we should always load the data into primary key. That means dimension tables. Then we'll go for a fact tables also. We will be discussing about how to implement dimension tables, fact tables, and uh, we'll be having star schema, snowflake schema, how to implement star schema data as implementation, how to implement snowflake schema data as implementation what way we are having start and snowflake schemas, all these uh, we will be discussing as part of the training. At the time of explaining about the modeling topics, I will use uh, some of the project related model documents, not like theoretically. Everything I will show you with the comparison of project. See, how to implement a modeling process by our modeling team. Modeling means 
what are the tables should be there in data warehouse right what are the columns should be there for example you are uh, building an apartment or a house for your to living for living purpose or for any kind of situation so in that point what you are going to do is you simply going to perform the some kind of you are going to a meet an architect right that architect will give a plan to you right okay what is the i mean which room should be there it what 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 and what is the actual process there all these things right i mean uh, where you need to have a main hall and everything similar to that architect is a team they are going to simply architect team is the team they are going to have uh, sorry modeling team not architect team modeling team is the team they are going to give a model to your business the simply speaking that what attribute should be there what is the meaning of each attribute what is the data type of the attribute length the primary key null level value all those things right all those things we need to specify that so all those things are going to be specified by our modeling team so once they specify all these things in the modeling thing this is the column we should have the definition of the column data type everything based on that as a etl team we will be loading the data into those all the tables those dimension tables as well as the fact tables also so modeling is the one which is going to give you a worry about the business in the modeling also there are three different kind of the levels are there conceptual data modeling logical data modeling see once this is a conceptual data what is the i mean uh, excel sheet i am showing here this is a conceptual data model which is just representing the what entities are there what attributes are there in the data warehouse what are the new attributes what are the attributes are not required for the modeling all those and after that they will go for logical data modeling also see this is the logical data modeling diagram which represents the what table should be there in data warehouse what is the relationship between one table to other table right what attribute should be there like purchaser key is the one column for example in the in the dim pharmacy is the one dimension table pharmacy key is a primary key and uh, this pharmacy key is the one dimension table whatever we are having with a number of 10 and uh, we are having a all these kind of the non key attributes are there as we are having this all these kind of the non key attributes in the data so when we are having all these kind of non key attributes in the data right in the situation to check that non key attributes in the given data how we have a data in the non key attributes what way we are going to have the non key attribute specification all these are going to be we will discuss okay, we will discuss about the how these are adding to that and what way we are going to simply specify there all these also will be discussing as part of our training that means i will be explaining that how to design the model how to specify the model everything we are going to change and we are going to specify there okay that also i'll be discussing i will completely cover about the modeling part also okay then once we are done with the modeling then we'll go for etl process that means definition of data where i mean etl tool what are the different kind of etl tool all those things also here what is this etl process right etl means extraction transformation and loading how we are going to implement this etl process what are the different kind of etl tools available in the market right there are different kind of etl tools are there those are data stage informatica and msbi and uh, in msbi also we have ssis and we have abinisho pentaho talent all these kind of different etl tools are there i'll be also explaining you about okay what are the different kind of etl tools in the market and how to implement the all those kind of etl operations in the data stage when you go for these etl operations especially right we are we are having a basics parts of etl process and everything then we'll go for the after completion of the basics part of etl tool then we'll go for architectural see this is a one for example see we are having a information server architecture is there that information server is the one which we are going to call as a data stage server actually this data stage information server is the one platform where we are going to have a different kind of tiers client tier services tier repository tier engine tier all the other different kind of the tiers are there actually we will be having a client tier services tier metadata repository tier and engine tier 
there are four different kind of tires are there these four different kind of tires whatever we are having those tires are going to be simply these four tires whatever we are having right these four tires we are uh, we are specifying there uh, are going to be connected to each other here see this is the architecture for data state information server right this information server whatever we are having that particular information server whatever we specified right this particular information server is the one which is going to have a multiple components like client tire we are having client tire is there services tire is there metadata repository is there engine tire is there all the other different kind of the tires are there we will be discussing the complete architecture also how this particular uh, information server is going to work what way this information server is going to work what are the different kind of tires are available all those are uh, components also we will be discussing as part of our training okay, we will also discussing about the all the components in the information server and once we are done with the information server architectural component as part of etl tool right then we will go for actual data stage etl tool what is this data stage data stage is the one where we are going to have the implementation of the uh, we simply going to have implementation of specification of the uh, this one right we are going to call as a server jobs parallel job mainframe jobs all these we will also discussing as part of our training see uh, we are having right different kind of the tool what is this data we will start with the what is data stage okay what is the purpose of this data stage we will be starting with uh, different kind of components because when you open the data stage tool see once uh, all the basics completed my team is also going to install data stage software on your mission once they install data stage software on your mission you will be having these kind of the client components on your mission right in those client components also the below two are the one where we are going to have the admin clients these will be useful for doing up all administration activities on data stage okay we are going to perform the all uh, administration actions on the data stage whatever we are having and uh, we'll also having a rest of all client components are there these are called user clients what are the user clients we are having there right the user clients are the one where we are going to specify the these user clients see see for example these are the user clients right these are the user clients are there these user clients are used to develop the data state jobs these other clients are, will be used to developing of the data stage jobs also i'll be showing you how to, i mean how to log into data stage how to work on data stage development part what way we are going to have i mean implementing of data stage jobs all those stuff we'll be discussing with the this information so no it's not a open source shoba it's completely i mean it's a paid tool we need to always get from ibm okay, ibm is a company which is providing this data stage etl tool uh, for companies yes we always need to purchase yes we i mean for uh, practice yes we have some open source tool is there we can download and we can use it download in the sense not everyone can download only ibm employees can download and uh, yes my team is going to provide the software to you guys don't worry and they will also install software on your missions if it is talking about personal missions but in companies yes always we need to purchase from ibm okay see i'm just logging into this administrator client what i'm going to discuss about administrator double click on this now i'm into logging into admin client i'm logging with my credentials once my admins install once my admin installed the software right we'll be having a uh these kind of client components are there for example if you are logging as administrator okay you can see home administration tab glossary information server catalog reporting repository management all these kind of components are there especially when it comes to administration tab what are administrators are going to do administrators are the people they are going to perform the different kind of administration management like users and groups creation for example if they want to create any new new user or group right if they want to delete any existing user for example who don't have access to process or something they will create a users and groups and log management when they have a log management right we'll be having log log creation log management also we can do and schedule monitoring for example we can do the schedule monitoring all these kind of the uh, we will discuss as part of our training how to do log management how to create the users and groups for example right see 
this way we are going to create a users new user for example new user means a new employee joined in a company for example right so when a new employee joined in a company that particular uh, new employee we need to create a new username and password to him will be having those username and password creations and everything group id creations and domain management okay session management how the sessions are running what sessions are running right now if for example you want to try i mean terminate the session how to terminate the session also like for example data state designer we log in we want to terminate the session for that we will also be able to do that so all the different kind of the activities we can perform with using of the this information server console i'll be discussing that one also then i'll go for data state designer see this is a one data state job whatever you can see right now here this is a one i discussed today for my previous batch class right these kind of the graphical designs we are going to have in data states there is nothing coding here so when you open the repository of your data stage right you can see different kind of the job i mean folders here in this one we are going to create and when we have a these kind of the different folders right batch number batch number mid and october batch like june batch every month what are the batch i am going to discuss i am going to save those jobs in a folder and those jobs i will be sharing to the team after completion of the training after completion of entire training i will be sharing all the jobs to them and along with the data also or somebody if they need for example in the middle of the batch itself as i am going to share that in the middle of the batch also and every day what are the class is going to happen on the tool and the basics also uh we'll also record the sessions for example i'm discussing about data state designer this designer means this one this is the one where we are going to develop our data state job compile our data state job run our data state job right when we are performing those kind of activities there so in the situation we'll be performing the job design and running of a job and compiling those kind of activities right once we perform those kind of activities of the data state job if you want to run the job longer than expected time or if you want to kill the job how to do all those kind of things also we are going to discuss and we will be completely discussing about that part as well in designer part and we are also working with the stages how to read the data from flat files flat files means i have a data in .txt .csv .dat these kind of flat files is there and we will we will also having a processing stage like copy filter funnel sort remove duplicates aggregator modify compress expand decode encode switch pivot look up join all the other different kind of operations we can perform when you open data stage also tool if you click on view here if you click on palette here right uh, the palette and you know, this one when you go for the processing stages right in the processing stages we are having all these processing stages are there these processing stages are the one where we are going to perform the different kind of operations on the data for example if you want to implement surrogate key if you want to implement transformations if you want to sort the data if you want to remove the duplicates if you want to do the pivoting merging funneling joining copying aggregation operations decoding encoding all these kind of different operations if you want to perform on the data we have all these processing stages and if you want to read the data from databases for example my source is a database or my target is a database for example in the situation also we will be having different database stages see we are having these kind of database stages right these database stages are the one where we are going to implement the database operations right database operation means take the data from oracle odbc or sql server or teradata right distributed transaction netija all these are different kind of the databases you can come from data stage and if you want to implement a i mean debugging process for example i developed one job i want to debug how the job is running okay whether the job is starting on time or not those kind of debugging if you want to perform yes we use the debugging process also and real time real time stays on the stage where we are going to perform real time operations and restructuring on the stage where we are going to perform the uh, column changes data changes all those kind of the changes if you want to perform this is the stage also we are going to have like this we will start discussing about first development part okay with the processing stages the debugging and development and advanced stages and data stages then we'll go for data state director client this data state director is the one where we are going to perform the director client implementation director client implementation in the sense we simply see the log right when our today one job i ran it may successful or it may fail for example if you see right now the job it shows the job is successful 
but sometimes job may be failure right if there is a job failure for example i want to see why the job failed what is the reason behind it so we are going to have these uh, data state director client component to see the log of your data state job and monitoring the job job log view scheduling the job for example i want to run the job every sunday at 8:30 pm central or i want to run the job every, every day at uh, 9:30 pm eastern like this i can schedule my jobs and i can see that i can also have that option called data state director client component scheduling of those things and there is an option called data state administrator client this administrator client is the one where we are going to perform the all administration activities that's what i already discussed and there is an environment called sequence sequence means a kind of batch environment let me show you some example for that okay this is called sequence or this this kind of the sequence also we are going to develop sequence means i am a one developer for example you all three are three developers right then we four developed a number of jobs we want to put all those jobs in a batch and we want to schedule that as a batch so in such a situations to implement that kind of batch we'll be having a component or concept called um, batch creation creating a batch and running a batch those all activities we are going to perform with the sequences and uh, if any job failed at middle of the batch batch processing how to handle that for example where the batch failed i want to start from that particular point or i want to start from the beginning of the point then we need to enable the checkpoint in property all these kind of the activities we are going to perform in data stay with using of the this um, sequence creations i'll be doing the sequence creations there and i'll also be performing the different kind of the sequence operations there and uh, we'll also discuss as part about writing okay how to do the sequences and how to perform the sequence specifications also and how to write a loop see this is the case i wrote a, some loop to explain my previous batch if i want to run the same job multiple times in the processing yes i can have a loop processing also i'll also explain how to do the loop processing and group processing those things also as part of our training sequences then quality stage in data stage when you open your your palette you can see a kind of data quality also these quality stages are the stages where we are going to perform all the data quality operations right for example i want to check the address formats phone numbers email ids these kind of the validation if you want to perform we use the data quality quality stages are the stages where we are going to perform the all quality operations on the data so to perform all the quality operations on the data we will be using a quality stage stages right those quality stage stages are the one which are used to investigation match frequency mns stages quality stage legacy reference match sql standardized quality assessment standardization stages wave stages survival stages and duplicate match reference match all these kind of the um, all these kind of data quality stages are there to check the quality of our data before we load the data into data warehouse now let me answer your question you are asking something uh, priya is asking is it similar to teradata or yes teradata is a database right what are the database stages i showed you here right that's a connecting with teradata database teradata teradata database it's an rdbms by using our data stage etl tool yeah uh, teradata is the one actually it's an rdbms right similar to that rdbms we have different rdbms are there oracle db2 sybase netija those are actual databases in those databases also especially when it comes to teradata we have some utilities are there they are called teradata utilities those we are going to call as a uh, fast load multi load right similar to that etl tool also we are having but when you go into that uh, teradata software right teradata etl tool there we always going to write a sql scripts sql queries but here we are not writing any kind of queries or something I mean any kind of sql we'll write simple sql not like that much we'll be having mostly graphical tool this data stage is a graphical tool so by using the graphical tool we can simply connect to the teradata database or oracle database and uh, db2 database and um, redbix sybase store prox for example you have some store processes on their database you want to pull the data from the through the store prox yes we'll also use that one as well that way we are going to have is it clear priya are still questions okay right that's a, a quality stage also we'll be discussing how to check the quality of the data and everything as part of our training 
and we'll also go for the information server administrator not only basic administration yes i'll also discuss see in entire my training i'll be discussing about the fundamentals of data stage data warehouse data stage fundamentals data stage etl tool quality stage administration and then finally project not like other trainers generally you can see only basic part they are going to discuss so that my my class also will take 50 to 55 hours of duration okay it's not like a basic i never discuss any basic thing so when we go for this project what we are going to cover in the project in data stage 9.1 project right we will be going for the data stage project architecture and brd discussion how we are going to have business requirement documents what kind of dimension tables are there fact tables are there right flow of subject areas design of hld and lld is for a project how we will be having high level design documents creation low level design document creation project flow job design process with etl documentation complex job discussion and unit testing of process system and user acceptance testing and regression testing and end to end testing deployment process of code to the different phases creation of job design document and overview document all these i need to discuss see i'll be showing you not only theoretically practically i'll be taking some project related jobs also in as part of our training let me show you some project jobs these are the jobs which i am putting under the batch those i am going to discuss as part of training and i have one project related documentation also project related jobs also i'll be explaining about that project related uh, stuff as well while i'm giving trainings for example this is one job i'll explain how to develop these kind of some complex jobs this is one little bit complex job okay as with many stages and many operations i'll be also showing you how to develop these kind of graphical jobs is complex now to develop simple jobs what kind of unit testing we will be doing and what kind of the specification we are having there right and design of hld and lld project flow job design documents complex jobs the main important thing is once development complete we will be doing some kind of test testing also right what kind of testing also will be having like system testing uat user acceptance testing regression testing end to end testing also how to implement okay and deployment process see generally once development completed by any developer we also go to deploy our right and we'll also discuss about the some part of unix scripting also i'll not discuss any basic part of unix scripting i'll be going for the some unix scripting as well as part of our training these are the one which are used to run our data stage jobs or move file from one path to other path delete a file or uh, archiving the files sending a mail notification to team all these kind of activities we are going to perform there to do all those activities we will be having some unix scripts are there as part of our training yes we will also discuss some unix scripts also okay how these scripts are written what is the reason behind the script written and what is the situation we are writing these kind of scripts where we are going to, we are going to use these kind of scripts all these will be discussing as part of our training also script to run on data stage jobs to execute copying the files sftping the files archiving the files sending error mail mail notification all this kind of stuff also will be discussing there okay uh, at least 5 to 10 scripts we will discuss as part of our uh, availability of the timing once scripts are done yes i'll also go to the explaining about the production support process see some of the clients nowadays using production support i mean simply speaking what process is going on and what way you are having connection with them those production support process also we will be discussing as part of our training and unix scripting also for the production support process and discussion of the some third party scheduling tools like control m autosys this kind of third party scheduling tools also we will be discussing there and uh, fixing of the defects see once production your jobs are running there may be some failures right there may be chance of some having some failures so we need to handle those failures how the production support process is there what kind of i mean production process we are implementing and what kind of defects we received what kind of the code we are implementing or code changes we are doing there all these things also we will be discussing as part of our training that also we will be discussing to discuss this entire part of project it will take a minimum 15 to 20 hours of duration 30 to 35 hours of course 20 to 25 hours of project totally 55 mostly 55 to 60 few batches i discuss even 80 hours of duration also because they need some advanced topics also yes i covered those as well 
and every day your class recording goes, I mean every day you are going to I mean get a class recording of that particular day's class recording and you will also able to listen that one and what are the material I am showing you is you will receive all this material what I promised okay all these material you receive Unix scripts data data materials quality stage information analyzer materials Oracle related materials ETL testing materials basic spot up material certification dump who are want to run that data stage tool parallel jobs and server jobs materials project related material stuff okay class PPTs which I am going to use class PPTs modeling stuff Third part schedule tool called control M stuff. All these I will be sharing on the day one of the class itself. That's all for today from the demonstration perspective.